Hey, this is Axis. I was covering a WCL battle this past weekend between these two clans, and I noticed something that just was so over the top. It was amazing. I love this strategy. And I got lucky there were two attacks using this strategy. Yes, it has lightning spells, but but it also has the clone spell in there. So it's, so it's like a zap electron. Oh, it's great. And, and so I wanted to kind of go through these attacks to, to kind of break them down. And when you're looking at a base, would it make sense to attack it with the zap electron attack? So looking at this base, I'm just going to zoom right on in there. I had to figure out where you're going to drop the, the lightning spell. And I mean, it's perfect. Uh, the, the, the whole idea is to take out the clan castle. So you only need six lightning spells for that. You don't need to take out the eagle. If you did, you would have to bring seven lightning spells, but you need to have that extra, extra spell space for the clone. So you're just taking six lightning spells. So definitely are gonna be targeting that clan castle. And look at this, on this base, the queen is right next to it. Seriously, so that's just invitation right there because she will go down with six lightning spells as well. And just so happens, it takes six lightning spells plus an earthquake to take down the Expos as well. So uh, they're perfectly placed right there, right there. Now, I'm gonna, I'm gonna kind of fast forward just this part here that I'm gonna start over again, but I wanna show you um, what, see, you're, you're watching where the queen is. Now, you're waiting until she gets to right in that center right there. Now, he's doing something else before he, he gets to the dropping the lightning spell um, with the, the initial part of the attack. And I'll, I'll go back over it as, as we're watching. But I, I wanted to show you guys right here. See how he drops all six. She's gone. Let the uh, earthquake. Now, the expo. The expo and the clan castle is gone as well. Boom, gone, history, history, and he still has room for the clone spell. So I'm gonna go ahead and, and restart this so that you can see from the beginning. Uh, all right, so we know that the clan castle is gonna be gone. Don't even have to worry about it. The queen, history, and then two beefy defenses right up there. So he is beginning the attack down here at the bottom at the six o'clock. His whole target right now is to work on an air defense. It's either that one or that one. Just so happens it can go either way. So, all right, heroes, which way are you going to turn? Looks like they're going to go left. So he dropped the, the queen at the left and an ice golem to, to start the, um, to, uh, I guess, be as a shield. So as they're heading their way up there, he's waiting for the queen to get right there, right on that corner, and boom, there it goes. Now, clan castle, expos, queen are gone. History, that air defense is history as well. Now it's time to, to look at where the clone is going. He's got the blimp already, the raging of the king, the queen as well. Hopefully we'll get in there. Actually, she does get in there and take care of that splash damage because it is all about the splash damage when you're looking at a clone attack. So he's he dropped the clone spell, the rage, open it up, boom, loons are out, E-Dragon is out, and they're doing their job. And look at this. They're just gutting the inside of the base. Look at that. The loons hadn't even arrived up, arrived on the scene to attack any defenses. And look at what's left for them to attack. So little of the base. I mean, it, the, the clone and the heroes in the very beginning, plus that zap attack, just gutted the base, gutted the base. So you, hit, you have one hay spell, so use it, um, kind of have an idea of, of where you're gonna use it, trying to zoom through where, if there are any splash damages, trying to get through there fast if you can. Here he's holding on to his Grand Warden ability. And it makes sense too, because they're gonna come close to that wizard tower. The wizard tower's looking at that lava hound, so is, is not even looking at the loons right when they get there he uses finally when they get close to the uh, multi inferno and the uh, um, uh, air defense what's left clean up clean up love this attack really really especially a town hall 11 
just able to just decimate it. So when you're looking at a base to try and figure out what makes sense, um, look at where that, that clan castle is and what's next to it, especially if the queen is next to it or splash damage. If so, then it's possible that that base would work well for a, uh, was it a zap electron? Electron zap? Clone? Zap clone? <laughs> <laughs> so let me show you the other attack that um, we had in this war. There we go. Jason. Jason. So let me go ahead and pause it for a second. So looking where the clan castle is. So the, the whole idea is to take out that clan castle and look at this. Talk about invitation. The queen is right next to it as well. Queen is right next to it. Seriously. Base builders, perhaps it's time to start making some changes moving those around so i'm just gonna fast forward like i did the other one fast forward on this one so you see how the queen is, is walking around walking around and he's hits her right there right in between the eagle and the clan castle notice the eagle did not go down did not go down you need seven lightning spells to take down a, a an eagle not six and only six are brought here and there's a reason for that so that you have enough spell space for that clone so now that we know where that is going to occur so there is the clan castle way up there he's gonna focus on that first take her down with the clan castle there we go right there boom and clan castle is gone all right, but the eagle is very, very, just a, a sliver of life as well. Still there, but just a sliver. Okay, so now it's all about trying to get in there. So he's starting right away with the clone. Getting the blimp on in. Opening it up. Out come the loons and the e-dragon. And they're blown over to the edge to take out that splash damage the the wizard tower missed it though missed it though so he's gonna have to work his way into it and i have to have to earn it I have to earn it so the air defense is down the uh, heroes were able to work together for that queen used her ability here comes the the uh, lava helm pulling up any i don't know yes they did pulled up a couple of the the traps in there the skellies and the traps so um, the loons won't get hit and the e-drag is out of commission for right now <laughs> while It's fighting that wind, but the loons are going through the base doing what they need to do to clear and Just and I like the the uh, surgical placement on this Just dropping the loons where they need to go on the defenses and not just a straight line across So this is um, a really good placement on this and the E-Dragon is still fighting that wind. <laughs> there we go, using the Grand Warden ability as it, they come close to the Tesla farm. Actually, they were right in front of that air defense and now the, the um, uh, wizard tower, but I mean, very, very powerful attack. I think the uh, Teslas are the last, no, we have an archer and a wizard tower right down there. Um, once those are gone and that, that sweeper here there were a couple of of expos as well set to ground um but um uh, that just has no effect on this another reason why this one worked well on this base finally the e-drag was able to escape that in fact, in fact let me let me rewind this and let's look at that e-drag and and see what happened there <laughs> goodness and you know they're slow too so it took forever <laughs> that's why I had to put it on on high speed because it would just be forever so um, there you have it the lightning electron I guess if you want to call it the zap electron uh, at the town hall 11 is super super OP right now so go ahead and give it a try let me know how it goes I, I'm really curious to see if y'all are able to to kind of start working it into your strategy so 
thank you for watching. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I do hope that you, uh, if you do like it, press that like button. And I do hope that you subscribe as well. I would really, really appreciate it. So as always, I hope to see you guys on the battlefield one day. Take care. Bye-bye now.